Oh no, and welcome back to Match of the Live, and it's me, Dan, back again, and this weekend, Manchester United have to face Watford at Vicarage Road, and I do believe it's a Sunday kickoff. I think it's the uh, first kickoff in the game, I think. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's one and a half, one, something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's go to the team management. So it's pretty much the same team. Uh, Rashford, Lingard, Martial, McTominay, James, uh, Maguire, Lindelof, wan and David Haya. Um, I was thinking about starting Greenwood, but I thought as he played in midweek against Colchester, I think um, Solskjaer will probably bench him for this game against Watford. So let's get into it and let's play match. So let's talk about uh, the last weekend's result, which was against Everton, and we drew 1-1. Um, it wasn't the, it wasn't a bad performance from United uh, at, at Old Trafford. Um they just got a bit lucky. <laughs> let's just say that. Um, so let's talk about the first half. So first half, we started really well. Um, Lingard had a chance, great chance in the first like couple minutes. Uh, he had a, like a spin, a rival, like a swivel shot. Uh, just went wide, but that was unlucky. It was a good run in to the box by Fred. And then obviously uh, Lingard uh, just put it wide. But it was, that was our like, first proper chance. And then after that, like United were... Uh, I don't know, it's like we had a couple chances, like Dan James put one across uh, the goal, and then like Rashford had a free kick, which was straight at um, Pickford, which Pickford saved, uh, you know, where Pickford just randomly saves. Um, and then like, we had a couple, ch you know, we had controlled most of the boards, much of, like that, but it's just like... It's a bit of a hard, uh, it's a bit of a hard like game to explain because United controlled most of the ball. Uh, we just couldn't break down that def def uh, that Everton defense and Everton. Um, they did have a couple chances, you know, uh, a couple shots blocked and you know, a couple of corners. But um, you know, they weren't really bothering De Gea. Oh, what a header from Lingard! Uh, it wasn't really bothering De Gea until they scored, which was uh, from a corner. It's just a whipped in corner from um, Leighton Baines because uh, I do believe he came on for uh, Digny because Digny got injured if I'm, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, uh, it was just a you know a corner, just a p corner put in. David Haher goes for the punch. He completely misses it. Um, but in that. Like situation there, like uh, Callum Hudson and Adoy, not Hudson Adoy, um, Calvert Lewin White, Cal yeah, Calvert Lewin, um, he just goes across with his arm, and like it's pretty much even uh, Gary Neville in like the uh, commentary saying it's definitely a foul, it's a foul, you know, if it was given, he just goes into him, he shocks him, it's a foul, and then obviously it goes, uh, the ref doesn't give it. David De Gea, like, doesn't really you moan about it, but he does moan to the ref, like, at half-time. It's, like, too late by then. Um, oh, that's unlucky. Um, uh, but, yeah, it was a definite foul, but the VAR didn't give it. I was like, are you serious? Well, anyway, it's, a, it's a Leighton Baines from the corner. Uh, David, De Gea, David De Gea misses his punch. And it just comes off Lindelof, who's at the back post. It just comes off Lindelof and goes in. It's just a lucky goal, to be honest with you. And how they did not give it as an, you know, a foul, I do not know. But yeah, um, it's just one of them weird VAR controversy again. It's just like, well, how is that not a foul? In a, you know, if it's United, if United did that, I bet they probably we would have given it a foul. It's just like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, so then after that, obviously, we went down uh, half-time at 1-0. Um, which I didn't think we deserved. Because, you know, I thought we were looking like the better team. And, like, Everton weren't really in it, to be honest with you. Um, second half started. And I thought United, you know, came out much more better. Um, we was, you know, trying, moving the ball faster. Trying to get the, um, trying to get that goal. Um, Dan James had another chance as well. Uh, we had a couple chances, <laughs> especially <laughs> Lingard got smashed in the face with a with a ball with uh, a Dan James shot. That was quite funny. Um, but yeah, 
It's just one of it's just one of them games. Just like, oh, is it gonna come? Is it gonna come? But then uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer brought, brings on Mason Greenwood, and uh, I think it was Dan James from the left hand side uh, cuts inside, passes it into uh, Mason Greenwood, and Mason Greenwood slots it home. A really good finish, like a Van Persie finish, uh, right between the legs, and surprises Pickford. It's a really good goal. And I was after that. I was thinking, all oh, right, here we go. We're gonna get a chance. Uh, and yeah, it was a great, uh, great goal. But after that, you know, I think before that we had a chance with um, Lindelof as well from a corner, if I'm not too mistaken, um, which he just put over. But yeah, uh, Mason Greenwood got the uh, goal finally, <laughs> which I thought you know wasn't going to come. But after that, you know, United kind of. You know, stepped up the gear yet again, but Everton, you know, they just sat there, defended well, didn't really, you know, Pickford made a couple of uh, couple of saves, especially one from Luke Shaw as well. Um, we just couldn't get that second goal in the end. Uh, Harry Maguire, I believe, had a header straight over the bar from the corner, um, but in the end, it finished 1-1, and... To be honest with you, it was a shit performance from United. You know, first half that you know we had like we did have a couple of good chances that first half, but we need to put away our chances. Um, so there, anyway, going into midweek, we had a game in the League Cup which I totally forgot about. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't watch it as I was at work. But uh, yeah, we won three 0 So first half we were uh, we didn't have many chances first half, if I'm not too mistaken. It was more second half. Um, we got our goals. Uh, first one was through Rashford. It was a counter-attack goal. It was just a long ball towards Rashford, and Rashford went on to score. And then after that, I do believe it was an own goal. Um, was it the own goal? Yeah, I think it was. It was a. I think it was just a crossing from uh, either Dan James or Rashford yet again, and it was an own goal from a, a Colchester player. Um, which was unlucky, and then after that, um, Mata put in a good ball towards Rashford, who just put it across to Martial, and Martial scored. Uh, so then that was three nil. Uh, so we won that game three nil, and there's a really, really good second half performance from United. You know, we, uh, you know, I have to admit, Colchester play, you know, played it into our hands really. You know, it's not 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 like Everton did. You know, Everton just sat back, but. Um, second half, Colchester went for it, and obviously uh, we just got the counter attack goals and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so obviously in the next round of the uh, League Cup, we've got Man City twice in uh, January, so uh, that's going to be fun. Um, hopefully, you know it's going to be two hard games against Man City, which we didn't really need. You know, we had Leicester there and Aston Villa, and, but Aston Villa and Leicester got themselves, and then obviously. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just <laughs> talk about a fix. You know, it was just coming. I would have preferred, you know, Man City in the final, but you know, I can't. To be honest, I can't see United. Wi I could see United winning. Uh, you know, maybe the first leg, but then second leg, I, I probably, you know, United will probably lose it at the Etihad. Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, this weekend we do have um, we do have Watford at the Vic at Vicarage Road, and obviously Watford just appointed um, oh, what's his name? Nigel uh, is it Nigel Pearson? Um, uh, I think he lost his first game in charge to Liverpool, but it was a much better performance against Liverpool. Um, they just got unlucky with their goals, I think. Um, but yeah, you know, Vickers Road is going to be a hard place because obviously last season, I do believe, didn't we lose? I'm pretty sure we lost there. I'm not too sure. Either we drew or lost. I'm not too sure. No, we won. Uh, didn't we win? Because Chris Smalling scored, didn't he? He rescued the win. Um, but yeah, it will be a tough game against Vickers, uh, against, uh, Vickers Road, against uh, Watford. Because obviously Watford are a good team, but they've just been, they've just been unlucky. Um, they are currently sitting... Oh, what a volley that is. What a volley. That's Fred with a volley. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, Watford, they might be going down this... I can't see it... Well, they might, you know, they probably might get the victory. 
against United. You know us, we'll probably <laughs> we'll probably lose it. Um, but I don't know. It's going to be a tough game because you know you know what they're going to do. Yeah, you know what they're going to do. They're just going to sit there and uh, defend and wait for the attack like Everton did and try and get a victory or try and get a sneaky goal. Uh, which is where you know United do need to learn how to break defenses and try and get you know some good passes into the top line and make sure um, make sure like Dan James and um, Rashford and Martial get the service. Um, if we can do that, you know I reckon United could get a, a could get a, a, like a two nil three nil victory against them because I can't see. You know, but they've been so poor this uh, season, Watford. So, yeah. Um, talking of uh, January, uh, obviously it is the January transfer window, and um, coming out today, Solskjaer has uh, said about obviously a couple of players like Pogba, Delo, and Eric Bay are all uh, back in training, but they probably won't be fit for this game. Um, which I thought, you know, Pogba might be fit for this game. Um, I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if Pogba does get put on the bench or something like that, and maybe come on second half. I'm not too sure, but um, we definitely need, uh, you know, if we can get Pogba back into this team, you know, get him good again, and hopefully, you know, try and control games like he does. You know, I reckon we could get win our, you know, in the next couple of matches, but obviously. After this, we do have what uh, Newcastle as well on Boxing Day, so look forward to that match day live. That will be coming out on Boxing Day, so look forward to that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, score. Oh, a couple of good saves from Dave De Gea there. Um, yeah, so obviously um, it's full time here um, for my score prediction. I reckon, I reckon you know Watford will try to defend, but I reckon United will get the goal, and it will probably. It might be just a 1-0 or 2-0 victory or something like that. I can see maybe Watford may try and, you know, defend. But I reckon United will get the goal. And I think United will just be too strong for them on the counter-attack. And maybe get that second third goal late on. Um, so anyway, guys. Um, yeah, so for my score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 Man United. I reckon United will just get the goals and just get, you know, get a victory. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to end it here for today, guys. So next episode will be out. The next uh, Boxing Day uh, match will be out on Boxing Day. So look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to end it here. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So right, I'm going. Bye. I uh, know, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hit me up on Twitch and Twitter, and don't forget to watch the playlist down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.